Hello and welcome to Rome 2 Total War. This is one versus one multiplayer. It's a, just a quick game that I played with Comrade Drago. And I just wanted to bring this out because I think there were some interesting tactics here that worked reasonably well. And uh, an army matchup that's interesting. So we've got the two Iberian factions. Actually, this battle happens fairly quickly, so I'm going to go to slow motion. So my force is the Lusitani. So I have, you know, my front line is these solid veteran shield warriors. These guys have pretty good stats across the board, with the exception of armor. And their health isn't amazing either, but for a mid-cost sword unit, it's about average. And I've also got um, two of these very high-quality Lusitani swords, who again, a little let down by their armor, but otherwise are an elite sword unit. Two, so I got two of those four of the veteran shield warriors and three of these Lusitani sword women who are very much like the standard Iberian swordsmen uh, they've got a slightly different spread of skills but very similar in their in terms of their cost and, and overall quality uh, I also have three Balearic slingers as my skirmishing component I figure those guys are going to be pretty effective against you know other Iberian factions because they have decent with their high fire rate, good uh, good range, they're going to be effective against lightly armored units like uh, the Riberian factions. And I have these three fairly low cost Scutarii cavalry who actually have a pretty decent melee attack. The damage isn't amazing. The defense is okay, but not amazing. And their armor, again, kind of on the low side. So not not an amazing unit. But a quick cavalry unit that can be used for hopefully getting skirmishers or rear attacks or something. But uh, Comrade Drago has a fairly similar army, actually. He's got three Balearic Slingers, so that's exactly the same as my skirmish force. He has fewer swords than I do, but he has two of these excellent noble fighters who were definitely able to give my uh, loose tiny nobles a run for their money. These guys actually have better armor, but their attack... Is not qu so these guys have better armor and defense, but their attack's not quite as good as the Lusitani nobles. And the Scutarii actually aren't a bad unit either. Again, they're another mid-level sword unit. Although they do tend to lose one-on-one -on -one to veteran shield warriors. Uh, but where his significant advantage lies is that instead he has three of these noble cavalry units. And these guys are far better got significantly better attack, significantly better charge bonus, melee defense. Like 46 charge bonus for a melee cab is pretty darn good actually. 42 melee defense, also solid. Armor's not bad for an Iberian unit and health is, is right up there. So a nice solid unit there that badly outclasses my cavalry. So I definitely do not want a cavalry engagement. That would be bad news for me. So we're, we're just coming right at each other basically and I'm going to get my Balearic Slingers nice and spread out. You see I get set up first and Drago moves into my fire arc which is going to give me the first volley. Which is against a, a, another lightly armored sling unit that's going to be very helpful. Now of course the one volley went on these cavalry and did nothing. But the second volley lands, or the, the volley from the other units rather lands before these Balearic Slingers start shooting. Now it's just a general fight, both of us popping our rapid reload. So I'm going to focus these two units in on this one. And this one, I don't want him pulling over and getting all mashed up with the other two units and presenting a great target, so he's just shooting at this one over here on his own. Let's get a overhead look at this. So you see, I'm a little bit more spread out than him, so I'm going to take casualties a little bit slower in this missile fight. I also, like I said, got the first volley and am focusing my shots. So you're going to see that this unit is pretty much gone at this point which is pretty quick even for an, a poorly armored unit like that. Of course this unit's also pretty badly damaged too, he was focusing on it, but now that I've got a three to two advantage, or well a two to two and a half to two advantage, he realizes he's not going to win that fight. So he's going to begin his his attack here and I have, I know I have a local sword advantage simply because I have more sword units and my veteran swords are pretty solid swords in any case now they'll, they'll get absolutely whipped by these noble fighters so what I'm what I'm trying to do though is box his cavalry out of the fight so you see I got a spear unit moved out to each side I've just given these veteran shield warriors a group attack so they're just gonna come right out and engage 
uh, the, the Scutarii and Noble Fighters out in front here. <clears throat> While I'm going to move the Lusitani Swordswomen out to the flank to, you know, go after these swords and try to screen out these cavalry with the spears again. And then my Noble Fighters are going to come up right here into the center. Actually, I think one's going to come over here and then one's going to come into the center to just get swords massed where I need them. This is why I like the uh, the two line deployment because it lets your second line go where you want. Your first line can be the fixing force and your second line can just hold them. Now see, I'm trying to keep my spears out of this fight with his spearmen because he honestly doesn't need them to be in that fight. So I'm going to intercept them with Lusitani swords women who should win this fight. I mean these spears are not very great spears because the Scutari spears are definitely not as good as the Lusitani spearmen I took. This is an 800 talent spear and it's actually quite expensive for spears. So and this is kind of happening on both flanks. The cavalry intercepted, the, or my cav intercepted the noble cav, which is a fight they never win. But then it lets me get the spearmen out into the fight. So same thing over here. Cavalry counter tactics run into the fight. And his general's kind of staying behind. So meanwhile, my general is going to absolutely thrash the Scutari spearmen. And right across the front, we're actually kind of running even. Actually, he was probably winning in the center until this Lusitani noble stepped in and filled that gap. But simply because I have numbers here, we're, we're overrunning these Scutarii. And the Noble Fighters are holding pretty well. And this rear attack was kind of a problem, but I'm able to immediately rear attack them again. My units didn't break, so no harm done. Spears are going to come in again. And again, those cavalry are going to be trapped. And over here, these cavalry are sort of trapped in with the Lusitani Swordswomen, who aren't going to do a ton of damage to them. You see they're losing pretty badly. But it's also going to keep them from really contributing to the fight in the way that Drago would like them to. Uh, meanwhile, the skirmishers are still shooting at each other, but you see the, the swords on this whole side have driven back the uh, Aravachi swords. The cavalry fight here is over, which means I can now send my cav around the rear to do some rear attacks, and his remaining cavalry units are all tied down. So now the exhausted noble fighters are getting pretty well pounded by my Lusitani nobles who came in fresh, and the General's Noble Cav and the Noble Fighter Unit are really the last thing left on the field and they're just getting surrounded. So these, uh, these Slingers are still out here but the, of course the, the Cavalry Units are, are both going to go out and, and just take them out. So now we're just again just pouring troops in here. I got the numerical advantage so no sense uh, messing around. We'll just go and tie these units and, and wear them down. They're both tough units but if we take out these guys back here, we can probably get a mass route of the remaining units. And sure enough, we're already getting morale waivers. See, that <laughs> noble fighter did a lot of damage. 134 damage and still got 90 men left. But it's not going to be able to hold forever against this kind of thing now. Especially since my <coughs> Lusitani nobles, I think, are now in here too. Well, maybe not. Well, here comes a unit of Lusitani nobles. It's definitely about to join that fight. And where's the other one? I guess it's must be over here. Yeah, there it is. So now they're they're done, and the remnants of these units that fled and regrouped are going to be run down by cavalry. And that is all she wrote. So that basically, I was just able to get the the encounters I wanted in that fight, and that's basically by trying to box out the spears and using swords against his spears. Uh, although, uh, he could perhaps have held his spears back and used them to just protect the flanks of his sword infantry. Uh, but then the, the swordswomen still would have just come up and attacked him. So I'm not sure how much good that would have done him. And on the other flank, those Lusantani nobles still would have torn right into him. Uh, my mainline veteran shield warriors got really well hacked up. Uh, and that was partly just because I sent him in you know, four units against against five units, and two of these units were quite good. They did decent damage, uh, but yeah, yeah, heavy casualties. But they held long enough for me to to create a line, and then one of the kind of rules of thumb I have about this game is generally the less the army that commits their reserve last is the one that's going to win. And now that sort of self. <coughs> Uh, self-evident perhaps because well usually the guy who's in more trouble is gonna have to commit his reserves first but it's also because once everything on the other side is committed 
if you have reserves, you can put your reserves in the right place because the other army can't maneuver to intercept you. So that is where having a, a couple more units, I only had four more units than he did, but having four more units helps set up those encounters. So in any case, uh, thank you guys for watching and a good game to Comrade Drago. Uh, if you like these, please go ahead and hit the like button down below the video, comment, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. But for now, just have yourself a good day.